And today we are going to take a look at this webcam. So for those that have a laptop and the image quality is something similar to what I've got right over here. And if we want to improve to something like this, then this webcam might be interesting, especially because it costs one third of the price of the last webcam that we have seen. I will leave the link down below. All right, that the webcam is wireless and this one is not, but we are talking about 2K resolution at a lower cost. So that being said, Let's go and take a closer look at it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. And before we start talking about the webcam and the package content, the most important part to me is the image quality, which is a huge difference. Now, this is the 12 in 2K resolution, and this is the original webcam from this laptop. This laptop is awesome, a budget laptop. I will also leave a link down below. This is the N1 I've been using for the past few months to record my tutorials because it has two screens. I put OBS on the bottom and then I can record the whole screen here at the top. Just awesome. But the webcam is just non acceptable. This is a huge difference. Now, this is not exclusive from this laptop. I've got a MacBook Pro, M1 Pro, and the webcam really sucks. So it's an expensive laptop, but the webcam is just bad. I've shared a few videos about it. And right over here, we have a webcam, which is a disgrace, but the 2K to all in just works really awesome. Now inside the package, which is a simple package, comes the webcam, a user guide, and also a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. And in terms of the camera itself, it has a few interesting features right over here. It has uh, indication status light, which turns green when it's being used. And then it has an infrared status uh, LED. It also has a infrared light and an infrared lens, which is not usual. And then it has the main lens or the main camera. At the back, it has a USB Type-C port so that we can connect. It also has the privacy filter right over here that we can just slide so we don't need to put in duct tape. And in terms of adjustments, we can adjust practically on any angle. It has a quarter inch screw so that we can put on a tripod, but we can put on any other surface and we can put on a display or a laptop like I've got right over here and we can adjust the angles. So in terms of adjustments, the usual for the webcam, the only thing that I would was surprised is that it does a continuous 360 which is not usual and it works nicely although it's a feature that I don't see myself using too much but the most important to me is exactly this it has 92 degrees of area opening area as we can see it's a huge difference especially if we want to have more things inside the frame if we want to have two people at the same time doing a video conferencing call. And of course, you might say, hey, but this is too much area for me. We will be able to adjust so I can uh, do any of these modifications and have a smaller area. But the truth is that the resolution is capturing a lot more pixels so we can play with it. In the case of the webcam from the laptop, I will not be able to play with this because I just forget about it. Now, I also tested out with Windows Hello and it worked great. And if you ask me, hey Robert, does Windows Hello work with any webcam? It should. But if we look at the webcam from the laptop, if I use Windows Hello, and if I have a little bit less of light, and even like this, it will be difficult for it to recognize, which is completely different from the image that I've got right over here, and Windows will recognize easily because it's bright enough, and even if we turn down the lights, it will be more than enough to recognize and have the Windows Hello feature working. So, this is the image from the Sony ZV-1 with a 16mm lens so a completely different budget 4k by the way this is 2k on the 12 in 2k by the way it will be upscaled so there will be some image degradation and if we look at this one this is the laptop so laptop 12 in 2k and my main camera 
Hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there. If you want to check out this 2K camera, the link will be down below. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.